Today we have the plant-based chorizo from Chipotle. Yes, I'm super excited. Let me tell you what we have inside it. And I'm going to read it at, on here. So it has brown rice, pinto beans, mild tomato. Um, it says medium corn, red, uh, hot red, sour cream, cheese, and lettuce. Every time I go to Chipotle, I have to have a side of guac. Their guacamole, you know how it is. It's awesome. So let's get into this because I'm so hungry. Yes. All right, yes, look at it. Let me see if I can put it just a little close without falling. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to get it. Mmm. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> and I do have some water. On the weekends, I like to eat, well, eat, well, drink water. Mmm. Now, I do see the way they messed up. I asked for brown rice. I see white rice. So, me and my husband just um, picked it up. We ordered it from DoorDash. It was cheaper to just, uh, just, to just pick it up. And as soon as we got there, went to the head of the line. You know how it is. Said my name, she gave me my bag, and we went right out the door. We wasn't even in there for five minutes. This is my first time trying with hot, the red sauce. It's hot. I can feel it going down right here. And I love spicy. Mm hmm. Mm. The sour cream is mild in it. So, how's your weekend going? Mine's going perfect. God woke me up this morning. So ain't nothing to complain about. Mm. This is my first meal of the day. Maybe my last. Mm. Mm. Have you guys tried the plant-based meat? Get closer for you. Love it. Look at this big old guacamole. I mean. Mmm. Mm. That cools my mouth down a bit. Last night, me and my husband, we were watching the new Kanye West documentary on Netflix. It's good. It is really good. I realized while we were watching it that Kanye was actually doing reality stuff before his wife or his ex-wife, soon to be ex-wife. When he was young, his friend, which was a big videographer or whatever, he was recording him through the process of him signing a deal with Rockefeller. And you see, he's so young. He's so hungry for it. I really, I'm really enjoying this part one. I was disappointed that they're doing it in series. So... We got part one, and then the next one comes, I think it was February the 24th. So you watch the second installment, and it, I guess it's step by step like that. So those, thus far, it's a thumbs up. And what touched me so much about it is his mother is in it. Oh my gosh. I turned to my husband and I said, I hope... He has his daughter and his sons to watch this, even if they don't understand, just to see their grandmother. And there's a lot of video with him and his mom just talking, laughing, joking. It's really, really powerful. And I see why he had a really deep connection with his mother because you see it in the video. I'll tell him this, if I ever was to talk to Kanye, he is blessed where he has that video to just reflect and see what his mom was trying to tell him about not even the industry, just about himself and to always keep that in his mind. Because people, 
some people, they don't have their mother. They don't have something to hear their voice, to listen to what their mom said, and for them to really take it in as a 40-year-old person. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I say that is because I'm talking from experience. I lost my mom when I was 16 years old. Um, she passed away from <clears throat> brain cancer and it's been it's been a long time I'm 42 I mean I'm about to be 42 in August anytime you can have those type of memories on video that's awesome so I'm definitely jealous that he has that and he can watch and pull stuff and get videos and you know it's really touching. It's touching and it's fantastic to see how hungry these artists were in the beginning when they were trying to make it in the music business because this is pre-social media. The main thing they probably had was a, a flip phone. It was like a Sprint, you know, those Sprint flip phones. So whoever is doing the um, directing and all of that, they, they did an excellent job of showing that to expand on Kanye because mostly everybody knows what's going on in his personal life which is ridiculous I shouldn't have to know what's going on through text messages from him and his soon-to-be ex-wife a question do you think he should just let Kim go or should he fight for her so he try to get his family back obviously my opinion on it and some men they not gonna understand this because only Kim knows what happens in her home and her privacy. And that's true for everyone. When a woman is done, a woman is done. She, she does not see you as the beginning when he was courting her and I don't like when women say, I like to stay for the kids. Don't do that. Please don't do that. You do that in your own self-esteem, you're, you're not going to be the same mom. Kids are very smart. And they know when, you, when something's wrong with you. Or you roll your eyes at him. Or... Because let me tell you something. When you are done, you do not want to... Look at them. <laughs> Be in their presence. So, I'm really proud of him. Standing strong. Doing her thing. Because mental illness is real. And he needs therapy. And he, he may need therapy for years. Because what he's doing now is ridiculous. I'll tell you this is good. Mm -hmm. oh, I saved like $10 picking it up. Opposed to having someone to pick it up, drive here. And the main reason why we went to go pick it up is because Chipotle always messes up our order. They always forget stuff. And so then we pissed. <laughs> or I'm very pissed. So we was like, you know what? We just going to go over there and pick it up because we ain't got time for this. <clears throat> I told y'all in one video, they messed up. We ain't even get our order. We got somebody else's order. So mad. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask y'all about what y'all think about Wendy Williams if y'all watch her y'all know her man I might have to get into that in a different video cause Miss Williams mm, I don't know she might have to give up that talk so Cause it ain't looking good. And like I said, mental illness is nothing to play with. Mm. 
I like that hot. That red hot. Mm. And the guacamole is cooling it down too. Mm. Hey, you saw. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. I ain't like it's hot. Because as soon as we walked in the house, excuse me, I heated it up for like 30 seconds. The girl didn't come to play. Mm hmm. Mm, I'm probably going to go in my bedroom, turn on um, HBO Max, finish watching, and that was that, or whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> finish watching that. For some reason, and I don't know if this happens to everybody, the HBO Max be going in and out. Like, it'll go slow. Ugh, every time I try to watch it. But I have to exit out and just forget about it. And that's why I have not finished watching Sex and the City. I don't know what it is. It sucks. <laughs> what are you going to do? Like, as soon as I go into it, it'll play fine. But after two episodes or so, it'll start stopping and then think. And then stop, stay. And, then, and they'll keep on doing that routine and I don't have time for it. Unbelievable. So, what? I'm thinking about downloading on my phone and maybe watching it that way. Maybe that's the way I got to do it. But on the TV, it'd be skipping too much. Mm -hmm. This is good. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. <laughs> I'm almost done, y'all. Look. I like to put it in there. Get all the avocado. Guacamole stuff. Mmm. Boom. I'm done. <laughs> so, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. Click the notification bell for new videos. I got them coming, y'all. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see y'all again. Love y'all. See ya.